All right, this is X14, and uh, obviously it's the trial version. I saw a post from Tim Schrock this morning, Design Build Solutions, um, or a, a video talking about doing um, recesses with an angle. And I guess he was responding to somebody else. I've done a couple of videos on different ways to do this, and I just wanted to make another one to update on a, a little different technique. So here's a symbol I made, and it's just solids. There's just four solids here. I made this top one real, real skinny, just sort of as an experiment, and I'll show you something about that in a minute. And this one, this one has got some ears, so this, this is like a, a stool or a sill for the inside. Then I just converted this into a symbol. And so I'm going to open the symbol. Three D. Sometimes you have to spin them around, depending depending on how it's drawn and some other stuff. Sometimes you need to rotate these in the Z axis to get them to place correctly. Two D. Auto generate should be on. You can because when the symbol gets stretched, the um, the, the CAD will will needs to be updated. Options, inserts into wall, and I've got this 8 inches because this this blue part over here is 8 inches deep. I want this little, this little um, ear to stick out. Sizing, there's a couple of tricks to this. You need stretch planes, um, X and Z, so you want it to stretch side to side and up and down, but not depth wise. And then this width, I'll show you how I got this, but th this is, you have to change this width to make it insert correctly because of these little ears, the way they stick out. By default, this width will come in as the, the width from this ear to the weir, to, to the ear over on the other side. And what you want is the width from this, this front edge here to the front edge on the other side so that happens to be 25 and an eighth I think that's everything of course you want to give it a name and then you want to change the window a little bit I just made the frame um, less deep You can see there's the window, and the frame just goes back and butts up against this. One of the problems with doing this is the symbol doesn't look very good in plan. So what I did was, just as an experiment, you can see this this piece here. Again, this is just a solid I turned into a symbol. You can see it over here in, in the library browser. And I just stuck it stuck it over here and centered it on this window just to give an idea of what you could change to try to make this look a little better. And I didn't get very far with this. I just this was just an experiment. But I just I just opened that symbol and I used the um you know these these tools here, this um drawing order tools to move that back in the drawing order so it would cut the walls and look a little better than this over here. The other thing is when you do this, when you build a symbol, instead of instead of doing these these pieces like this, I would probably do these as a just a flat
I'm just doing this quick and sloppy, but I'd, I'd probably do them more like this. In fact, I'd make them as thin as I could. Because the way this symbol comes in like this, you've got these little corner pieces that you probably don't want. Anyway, there's there's a bunch of little fiddly things about doing it this way that makes it not look so good. If you don't want, if you don't need to see this in plan, you can just put these on a layer and turn that layer off, and then you'll just see the window there with the square edges. But if you want to see, you know, if you want to make it look good in 3D, this is a pretty simple way of doing it. So I'm just going to find this. Uh, window recess, put it right here, and you'll have to fiddle with it once you do, once you, once you figure out the size of your window, then you can easily figure out what size to make this. So you can see how this inserts into the wall nice and clean these little ears stick out just like they're supposed to you can see over here you see these lines up here at the top there's a line there and a line there and depending on how you look at it sometimes they'll go away sometimes they won't yeah, see there, they go away. I think that has to do with the window. Because you don't see them over here because there's no window. So I'm going to select this symbol. And I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to center it on this window. And there's that there's that trapezoid shaped piece down there I was using. I'm gonna move it out of the way, put it over here. But you can see that that once you once you figure out the the dimensions of this thing, you know this happens to be 40 inches wide, and the height and depth. Finish four to bottom. Once you figure all that out in relation to your window, putting these things in is quick. And automatic, pretty much. I don't, uh, let's see. I'm going to change this. I don't think this is going to make any difference, but we'll see. I'm going to change this to 24. Yeah, it, it's going to it's going to it's going to go wherever you put it. That's actually cut its way all the way through. You can see that this wall is thick. This wall is a standard two by six wall. I made this one thicker just to, for demonstration. Anyway, just something to something to think about. This is this is this technique this inserts into walls handy for all kinds of things so